Well, student exchange programs are educational and cultural opportunities for students to live, study, and work abroad. And right now, high school students from more than 30 countries are eagerly awaiting the opportunity to study in the USA. And SHARE High School Exchange Program is looking for caring adults of families to host international exchange students for the upcoming school year and semester. Well, here we are. I am so excited to say share local exchange coordinator Cindy Parker and Mikkel Glinvad, an exchange student all the way from Denmark, is joining yep. us this morning. Good morning to both of you. Thank Good you. Morning. Welcome. Morning. Welcome to America and welcome to our show. It's nice to have you here. Well, I'm glad to be here. Oh, it's a pleasure <laughs> for us. And let me ask you first, Cindy, what's actually involved in being a share host family? Well, our family has hosted five students. Wow. We have hosted students from Germany, Belgium, Spain, and Mexico. Oh my goodness. And we have loved it. It is so much fun to bring someone into your home and just let them become a part of your family. Wow. You laugh together, you live together, you enjoy things together. And so we look for warm, caring host families mm. uh, who can provide um, a safe, caring, supportive environment for yeah. host families and they help them learn a lot like even little things like just about language and sure they learn that when they go to the drive through window it doesn't mean you drive through a window it means <laughs> interesting that you're going to you get know, go some grab food some at your convenience exactly go to McDonald's, right. Was, so is that one of the things you experienced here that you hadn't experienced before well I I actually I, I knew what a drive through were but <laughs> I was but uh, yeah. Well, Mikael, I want to ask you why you actually decided in the first place to become an exchange student here in America. Um, well, it was mainly because of my mom, because um, she she went. Uh, no, my, my my uncle went to America in the eighties. Okay. Um, and then my mom, my, my mom had the same opportunity, but she never took it. Oh, so wow. so she wanted me and my sister and my brother to 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 have that uh, experience. So that was like mainly why. That's uh, wonderful. And yeah. so how okay? So how long have you been here? Right now, I've been here for. Of like nine months and 20 something days wow so. so you really have a real flavor and and you picked a great place new mexico absolutely oh, yeah. oh, right I, I love new mexico <laughs> <laughs> well i want to ask you this cindy how are host families really prepared to receive an exchange student and how in turn are the students prepared so how how does that work well the host family actually uh, contacts me and okay. then um, what we do is we try to help them find a student that matches their mm. family. So some of the similar interests and sense. just personalities and things like that. And then we go ahead and do an orientation after the, the host parents have been selected and gone through the process of filing mm. an application. They do a background check on the host family. It's really important. Yeah. And um, we just look for, like I said, people that are caring. They go through an orientation with me in the summer before okay. the students come. Um, and after the students come, another one. Mm -hmm. and and uh, then we have support throughout the year, too. That's so nice. Well, Mikhail, explain the process of coming to America. How did it all, how did it all play out? Well, uh, you start off going to an, uh, like a local organization that has contact with an international one. Uh -huh. um, and then one of the major parts of it would be that you have to write an essay about yourself. Mm, interesting. Um, and the way they use it is that you write an essay, okay. like pretty much about your life before America, mm -hmm. and then they send out the essay to the organization, uh -huh. and then the organization like tries to match a family with that essay so that the person and the family kind of mix like together. It's like a matchmaking process exactly, in a way. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. And you are, I mean, you're spending significant time and it's very personal. Okay. It's a very personal thing, so you really want to make sure you gel well with each other. So what was your American family like? Oh, my American family is wonderful. Aww. I mean, they're like, in the when I came in the airport, they are having these big old signs and saying, Aww. welcome to our family and stuff. And yeah, I just knew right away I was welcome here. So that was that was amazing. That's great. So, uh, uh, yeah, I have I have a little brother too, and his birthday is actually here soon. So. Oh, say happy birthday yeah. to him. You can do it. Happy birthday, Caden. <laughs> <laughs> you are. That's wonderful. So you really, you have a whole new family, and that's I so do, special. Yeah. Exactly. Is there anything that kept you, you know, really surprised when you got here and you were like, oh my God, I did not expect this. Was there anything in particular? Uh, yeah. Um, I kind of expected it to, to be very easy mm. um, but you really have to take initiative to do stuff too it's like for, for example with the friends mm -hmm. I, I had a hard time making friends in the start mm. but that was mainly because as an exchange student I expected to people to come to me all sure. the time but you know after two weeks you're not that interesting anymore <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> you, you are you kind of have to take the initiative yourself I mean yeah that and makes not, sense yeah so well like, what's next for you what's the next step when are you returning to Denmark 
Um, I'll be going back here this next Tuesday. Oh, no, it's, it's sad. Yeah, um, but I mean, I've, I've I've had a great time here. Um, and hopefully so. you can share all those experiences when you get back home with your oh, family. Oh yeah, I, I will. I will. Uh, Definitely. And, and so. Cindy, what kind of support do you give to the families and the students basically uh, during the school year? Because I mean, it's that's got to be a, cr a really difficult process to get into a new school system. Well, the families go through an orientation. The, the students are already accepted into the schools okay. before they come. Okay. The families go through an orientation so they know what to do and how to make that student comfortable. Like, gotcha. for example, for the first, oh, even week or so, mm -hmm. maybe a little longer, we tell them never leave the student alone a lot. Mm -hmm. Let, you know, spend a lot of time with them and, and so that they okay. don't get homesick. And then, you know, they just, um, every month I check in with the families okay. and I see if there are any problems. If there are, I can have meetings with them but usually the students just do great That's and they great. just have a, a wonderful time at the end of the time we do uh, what I call a disorientation oh, okay pre-departure orientation Aww. so we kind of talk Preparing about our year. year well and yeah. on the screen I just want to mention that we have all the details is this how somebody can call to become a, a host family right they can contact me at that phone number or they can contact our local or well our, our regional office okay uh, Southwest share and they can contact the um, on the website as well. Fantastic. Well, Cindy, thank you so much. Mikkel, I wish you so much luck. <laughs> thank thank you. you for being here today and for sharing your story and safe travels back to Denmark. Thank you. We really loved having you today. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be fun. You'll want to stick around for this because young gun Lou Diamond Phillips is all grown up and he's starring in a new drama film right here in New Mexico. He's here next on New Mexico Style with the details.